and welcome back to my channel. It is so great to be with you and I hope you've had the most amazing Christmas period. Um, I have had such an exciting December. It's been full of Disney Christmas illness and <laughs> other stuff but it has worked out absolutely amazing and I will absolutely be telling you more about the Disney Paris side of it um, in future videos. But today I wanted to share with you the Christmas haul that I have had this year. There is a lot of Disney in it so let's get started without further ado. to show you so it's gonna take a little while but let's see what we've got so starting with Disney in no Christmas in Disney Paris um, so these two items were from my sister so we all had matching ones of these which are amazing they are hooded sweatshirt things which is the best way to describe them they're from Tesco's in the UK and they are absolutely amazing they're for the Disney 100th and as you can see they feature a load of the characters the only one dressed up is Buzz but um, they are incredible and we had these in Disneyland Paris because then A we matched and B it kept us warm and it kept us so warm so these were brilliant um, so thank you very much to my sister because they were incredible the next thing that I have to share with you is, now I will say this is actually two Christmases in one because last year um, I had flu and then my family got the flu and so actually I haven't seen them in two years, well one year for Christmas. So this is actually two Christmases in one but I do feel really fortunate um, because I've, I have been spoiled regardless. So this is the second item that I got from my sister in Disneyland Paris and I was super excited and the funny thing was she'd asked me if I, we were packing together via video call and she'd asked me if I was going to do a Captain America band and I said no because he's a crush and I don't want to dress as him, I, I want to be with him not him and um, also I don't have a Captain America lounge fly or didn't historically and now I do so I was super excited to get this from her especially because this bag is about two years old now and so the fact that she was able to buy me a brand new one was amazing. Um, it is really, really beautiful and um, it's got the 80th um, inside, which I'll, I'll put a picture in rather than try and show you. It doesn't have any pockets on the outside, but it does have this lovely embroidery and I love how the shield has been done with like um, punch, punch embroidery. Um, there is a name for it, I can't remember what it is right now. Um, silver hardware, it's really lovely. I love this bag and came with the wallet as well so I was really excited about that oh actually in theory I can show you the inside here so so I did do an emergency uh, emergency um, Disney bound for Captain America and what I ended up doing was I had a brown leather jacket with me that I'd taken to do Captain Marvel so I managed to create a kind of Black Widow in um, the Winter Soldier film and that worked really well and I was able to use then this bag because why not? So that was great. So from Disneyland Paris to Disney in Essex, had a few things from um, last year that were for this year. So the first one was in this box and we all know what comes in this colour box. Disney Traditions! I have not seen this figure in person until I opened him and he's wonderful. Look! <gasps> Oh my goodness, how good is he? So I really, really love him. He is absolutely gorgeous. He has the mechanism that the little ornaments have. So his mouth opens and closes and he is just absolutely wonderful. So he has been out on display since I've come home and he will go back out on display after I've finished filming this. Um, but I just wanted to share him with you because Donald as the Nutcracker is absolutely amazing. He's about as big as my hand, so he's pretty tall um, and he's, he's weighty, but he's absolutely darling. So let's put him, no space. Okay, let's put him back over here for the moment then. <laughs> okay, right next thing from Essex Disney Christmas is this 
which is awesome. I haven't seen this puzzle before. This is a Ravensburger puzzle and it is a thousand pieces um, collector's edition of the Disney Princess and this obviously is the Little Mermaid. So I think the picture is absolutely gorgeous. You've got her with Eric, with Triton, with Flander and Sebastian, Ursula, Flotsam and Jetsam are on there. So they're pretty much the whole gang except for her sisters. Um, and I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. So since we've not had great weather, I am looking forward to sitting and doing this. And um, I, I don't know how you do your puzzles, but I like to not use the box. <laughs> so I don't even look that closely at it. I will literally open this, sort the pieces into the corner and edge pieces, and then everything else and I start to do it by color. And I then put it together without looking at the box. The box stays like that with any extra pieces in until it's finished. I've only ever had to do it looking at the box a couple of times when it was really tough, like a lion puzzle, like a re really realistic one. Um, but I, I love doing them like that. It's how my dad's always done them. And I just really enjoy the challenge of not really knowing what I'm put together, putting together and kind of trying to figure out the shape of the next piece and what's going to align up where uh, in order to find it. So if you haven't tried puzzles that way, maybe don't start with a thousand piece one, but why not give it a shot, see how you get on. But isn't that absolutely beautiful? So thank you, mummy and daddy. Are you ready for this? I did not expect this. I was, oh my God, so excited. <gasps> Look! Oh my God. This is amazing. There are, now I think this is the one, 2,316 puzzle pieces. Yes, 2,316 puzzle pieces, which I think is gonna take us about four days. This is a combined present for me and my husband and I am so excited, so excited. So this was bought from Disneyland Paris back in August you see all the characters along here so you get all three of the witches you get Binks you get Alison who I previously have called Sarah in other videos <laughs> incorrectly Danny and Max and I think you might also get Billy as well have I made that up there are skeletons that go in the house let me show you <clears throat> and I oh my god I just can't I can't wait to do this I really can't there's even a light brick which I'm oh, sorry I'll just turn this background for you so it has electrics in there so that you can have the cauldron on a fireplace and then look it's got purple flames <laughs> now i've got to say i didn't do very well with the lego advent calendar so if you're wondering where are the videos i promised showing you all the items i did it for like days one to four and then kind of forgot to do the rest and I haven't even opened most of them from about day 15 onwards so um yeah but I I will show those at some point um and I hope to show you this once it's completed as well but look Alison even comes with her little salt um there's the book I think somewhere over here in the attic it's just marvelous and I cannot wait to do this so there's that <clears throat> okay that is my absolutely biggest present of this Christmas. Then we come down to where I actually live in the southwest of England and I had Christmas here as well with just me and my husband. And I got, in terms of Christmassy stuff, uh, Disney stuff. So, okay, <laughs> I've got a big pile of things in my lap. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this. This is a little shower puff with Marie ears and tuft. How cute is she? This is from a friend at work. I absolutely love it. I just think it's so cute. I haven't seen it before. Um, I love it when people find me Disney stuff that I haven't seen before, because of all the many things I do see and want, I'm, it's great when people find me stuff I haven't seen, and I'm like, oh my God, it's so cute. So I don't know whether I'm gonna use this because it's just too, too darn cute. But I feel like I have to because I want to. So who knows, we will see, but it's amazing. I love it. <laughs> Then I have this Disney 100th brush, which is a detangler brush and it's holographic and it's Elsa. Um, this has a series of six that you can collect. Again, I haven't seen these before. I really haven't been looking hard enough. <laughs> Oops, told you we won't get through a video where I don't drop. So you can get Elsa, Minnie, Moana, Alice, Winnie the Pooh and Tinkerbell and it is a wet brush, uh, Disney 100th Detangler. Apologies for my hair that's in it because obviously after I opened it, I had to try it, but hopefully you can see that it's nice and shiny. Shiny. <laughs> there is that. 
Okay, what else have we got here? I also have, so, these two, oh my god, stop dropping things, Katie. These two notebooks. Ah, I keep dropping everything. <laughs> so I've got Alice in Wonderland here, which has got Alice and the Cheshire Cat and the White Rabbit on the front, and it's absolutely gorgeous. It says, always curious. It's an A5 lined notebook, and it's got a little gold thing to keep it closed. Let's see if I can open it and see. And it says, always curious, and has Alice on the inside. Absolutely gorgeous. So love that, really, really nice. And then I have this one as well, which is, this one is a Disney princess one, and you've got Ariel front and center, which makes me very happy. Uh, I've got Moana, Jasmine, Rapunzel, Snow White as well. And then on the back, you've also got Cinderella and Mulan. Oh, neither of the frozen princesses, that's interesting. And then I've got brown um, doodad down the side. That's what I'm calling it, I'm sticking with it. And princess crowns on the inside. And this again is an A5 and they're both hardback, 80 pages lined and they're absolutely gorgeous. So, right, let's see, third and final time, try not to drop this, let's see how successful we are. Uh, it's not even what I'm showing you next, so there's a good chance I'm going to drop it again. Right, let's put that on the floor. Okay, and then along with the notebooks, I also got this lovely official 2024 Disney Classics desk calendar. It folds out like this, so it's gonna sit on the desk in front of me, and it's got images of all of the six characters that are in the front. There's actually two um, images of each character, so let's just show you the first six. We've got Lady in January saying it's something wonderful and then we have I love the colors in this they're absolutely beautiful don't just fly saw for Dumbo for February these pastel colors are just stunning there's a lot of peach pink green Simba brave when I have to be oh I love Simba we've got Bambi in April saying do more of what you love yes good sentiment to live by. Then in May we've got Marie Simply Perfect and last but not least we have I think this is I think this is Lucky although actually she's got a little bow on and this one says cute as a cupcake bless. I'm gonna have to check which which puppy that is but they're really really cute and then as I, as I said you've got six more images of the same characters for the next six months as well, which is really beautiful. So I absolutely love that. And then last but not least, I have some Disney bits that I got from my husband as well. So the first thing he got me was these, these are actually pajamas and I'm still embracing the holiday feeling by living in them currently. And uh, they are so cute and they say perfect in every way, which is a bit of a joke between us because um, I'm really not and I'm not very good at cleaning or cooking or anything traditional like that so um, yeah it's a bit of fun and then they actually come with shorts as well which are really really cute so you've got Marie with milk and without and she's sticking her tongue out in some of those as well so she's just really adorable so I absolutely love these and um, yeah I might wear this as a t-shirt too we shall see and then he got me these two little Funko mystery figures which are really cute. Now I'm <laughs> not gonna lie, I was a little bit taken aback when I opened the Nightmare Before Christmas one because he knows that historically I have hated this film. It really scares me, I don't like Oogie Boogie and um, it's changed, my relationship with this cha film has changed over the years because since going to Walt Disney World in 2019 and seeing like the Oogie Boogie at the Not So Scary Halloween party, he's green, not that burlap sap colour and um, he's more fun. So I, I did say to my husband though when I opened this, as long as I don't get that Oogie Boogie, will be okay. Preferably I would not like to get the mare, but the Oogie Boogie as Bugs is, I, I literally don't actually know what I would have done if I'd have opened that. I feel like I would have had to give him to someone. In fact, I can't really look at him on the box. <laughs> so I was hoping for um, a zero ideally, but anything other than that Oogie Boogie was going to be okay. Even the green Oogie Boogie would be okay because I associate him now with the booty you. So um, I did my little, um, 
feeling out and trying to work out which one it was and I was really lucky because I got Sally and look she's actually really adorable I reckon these are probably about half the size of a normal Funko it's just oh no they're actually oh, ah. sorry Sally um okay they're actually oh yeah so she's she's about two thirds maybe three quarters something like that not quite half anyway but isn't she cute I genuinely think she's adorable and even though she appears to be putting her arm back on and she sat next to the deadly nightshade um, tombstone as well what's really funny is that on Christmas Eve one of the shops we went into actually had a bigger version of a very similar scene to this which I actually pointed out to him and said about so that is hilarious uh, so maybe it's my own fault he got these but yeah I genuinely think she's really cute so she's gonna go with my Halloween stuff and um, I will have her out between now and then as well because she is cute um, but I'm really happy I did not get the Yugi Boogie because I genuinely don't know then these ones are from I Am Groot so this is the TV series with Groot which I need to re-watch because I don't remember a huge amount about it I thought it was quite cute um, and there are all the Groot images of figures that you can get oh yeah uh, Sally is one in six which I pretty much knew I was gonna get one of the the really common ones because I always do I'm not the sort of person who picks out the shiny cards or anything like that um, <clears throat> the zero with the candy cane was one in 72 so I wasn't surprised I didn't get him <laughs> um, this one then uh, yeah so I, I didn't really have no that's not true I did have a preference if I was going to pick I would li have liked one of the ones with him with the watch as the, the headband because I just thought they are adorable but um, I liked this series from what I can remember so and this one turned out to be <clears throat> a bobblehead and it's Groot I, I think from memory he's like turning into a tree isn't he he's like living his best Fantasia life and um, now there are actually two of this style in the box the other one that you could get was the flocked one and the flocked one was one in 36 but I got the, the I, obviously I got the basic one which is absolutely fine I'm not that worried about that at all but I think he's very cute and I did see Groot at uh, Disneyland Paris again this time he is not a character you do a meet and greet with as such but he's there available for you to take photos of and he's kind of dancing in his place um yeah i will tell you much more about that in a future video but there you go that is my very merry very disney christmas so I hope you had the most amazing holiday and that you um, you know had a really nice time with friends family on your own or whatever you wanted to do spending it your way I hope you had the best time um, let me know what you got for Christmas did you get anything Disney ish um, did you get anything the same as me or do you have anything the same as me I love to hear from you so do let me know and if you're a new or returning subscriber thank you so much for having joined me once again and if you're not yet subscribed to me but would like to see more please do click the button to see all the videos that I have produced and will be producing going forward so thanks so much for joining me until next time take care Merry Christmas and Happy New Year when we get there and bye for now